Hello friends, today we'll learn about recycling. You look tired. Here's a carton of fruit juice for you. Isn't it refreshing and tasty? Do you know this juice carton is made up with recycled papers? <laughs> Don't get confused. Let me explain this to you. Recycling is the process of converting waste materials into new objects and materials. There are various recycling processes that allow materials to be used more than once. Some of the most common processes are recycling plastic, glass, metals, paper, and textiles. Typical used items made of these materials include plastic milk cartons, soda cans, machines, newspapers, and cardboard boxes. Recycling is actually a complex process and is different for each type of material. Let's learn about these materials. Paper. The process of waste paper recycling involves mixing used or old paper with water and chemicals to break it down. It then gets shredded, chopped up, and heated. This process turns the paper into a slurry. It gets strained in order to remove any plastics or glues. Then it gets cleaned and bleached to remove any leftover dyes, etc. New paper can be made with this cleaned pulp. Aluminum cans. The used aluminum cans are first shredded and then melted. Then it can be used to make new cans and other aluminum items. Look at the tractor. This tractor's trailer is made up of recycled aluminum. Recycling aluminum does not reduce the quality, so it can be recycled indefinitely. Plastic bottles. Used plastic bottles are first collected, then they're cleaned to get rid of any waste material or leftover food. Then the bottles are crushed into these machines into fine plastic chips. The chips can be melted down to create new plastic or turned into a fiber used for making toys, mats, and buckets, etc. Computers. The old computers are shredded first. Then conveyor belts transfer this under a powerful magnet, which separates iron and steel from the e-waste. The steel and iron are collected in bags for later use. The remaining e-waste stream is mostly plastic, which is also reused in various ways. Batteries. Batteries are crushed by high-speed hammers or shredders. It is first separated into its components, heavy metal, plastic, and acid. Then it's reused in various ways. Oh, you have made the recycling loop. See, it has three arrows and each arrow represents a step. First, collecting recyclable materials. Second, processing the old materials and making new items. Third, buying items made from recycled materials. Recycling helps protect the environment. It cuts down the need for processing raw materials which create pollution. As recycling saves energy, it also reduces greenhouse gas emissions, which helps to deal with the climate change. I love your DIY recycled bird feeders. It looks so good, and birds can drink water from it. These birds look very adorable. Now you know a lot about recycling. Stay tuned for more videos. Bye-bye.